this is it. This is it. My all-time favorite McQueen diecast. I'm not kidding. This is, this, the metallic that's run at Pistol Cup McQueen is my all-time favorite McQueen diecast. So I want to know what your favorites are in the comments. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of responses with variants from Car 3. Totally understand you guys. Car 3 has some of the coolest McQueen paint jobs, especially Fabulous McQueen is one of my favorites. I think it's my second favorite. But, uh, in fact, Metallic Fabulous McQueen is my second favorite McQueen diecast. But this is my all-time favorite McQueen diecast. So let me know your favorite McQueen diecast or McQueen paint job in the comments. And, uh, yeah. Now, let me explain why. I just love how this looks. This was the first metallic car I got. It came with the characters like the PDO, which is really hilariously inaccurate. It has many cars that to this day are yet to be released. I'm looking at you, Rod Tork Redline with car boots, who would have made the production of Redline, like, 20,000 times easier, especially because I had to pay $25 for damage Rod Tork Redline. I'm sorry. I got it off track there. But, um, yeah, basically... It had a ton of inconsistencies, errors. I may do a whole video in the future called, like, the mistakes in that book, but it came with this. This exclusive McQueen. It's really worth the purchase of the book, in my opinion. I mean, also, you get a full book, a full character. It's like the Pedia on Cars Diecast through 2012. And it's a really, really nice-looking McQueen. It's the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup. Varian and it's metallic and I just love how this guy looks. I think he has my favorite McQueen expression ever Anyway guys welcome back to yet another review and to yet another way back Wednesday today We're gonna be taking a look at the metallic Hudson Hornet Piston Cup McQueen We're of course in season two of way back Wednesday where we are now taking a look at cars released in 2011 and 2012 so mainly cars 2 stuff, but I could be reviewing take flight cars in the future I'm just kidding, I don't know anybody from the Take Flight collection, but if I did, I'd totally be reviewing them. Uh, I need to find the Take Flight cars for a cheap price. Anyway guys, let's get started off with the review. Here you can see he's got a really kind looking, nice McQueen grin. He's got a huge smile, Rusty's medicated bumper ointment, rear end formula. With the headlights there, of course, the 95 is still a sticker here. That's before he gets real headlights. The bolts there and his lucky stickers. Then on the side, we get more of the really nice metallic look. And here's what bothers me about this McQueen. His wheels aren't metallic, but I could really overlook that because, I mean, it's not something they started doing until I think about last year or this year. Uh, nowadays, they make the wheels metallic. Like with Bobby Swift here, his wheels are metallic. Uh, also, Sabulous McQueen's wheels are metallic. and uh, Maybe Cruz's? Actually, no, Cruz's wheels are silver. Anyway, though, I don't have metallic Cruz yet. Her cases just began showing up in America. As you can see here, he looks really nice from the side. Light your tires. I love how they included the yellow rim around the wheels. I love it when they... Add that little detail. The Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo is on his side. A couple of chips there, but you can see Doc on top of the Piston Cup. The 95 with a little tiny lightning bolt going through, and I just love this look with the normal lightning bolt. A really faded and hard to see, but it is behind it, as you can see. Little Turkey Pistons, Revolting, and Mood Springs are his only secondary sponsors. I wish Dynaco were on there because it would just make sense, and it would be like Team Radiator Springs McQueen. Rusty is back there, the gas cap. His signature and the 95 with a little lightning bolt going through it. Rusty's on the back. And on the back, or sorry, Rusty's, yeah, on the spoiler on the back. And on the back, you can see Rusty's medicated bumper ointment, as well as the lights there. There's the other side. Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite McQueen is in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.